During weeding, one should avoid stepping on the ridges to minimize soil compaction that might unnecessarily affect the rooting and tuber development. Paris tells us that a month after planting, she goes back to do weeding and she repeats the practice depending on the rate of occurrence of the weed. Ukipanda doma ndi lazima uweke dumu. Ukiweka dumu ndi lazima upalidie. Ukipalidia ni lazima ukuze after one month unapalidia tena. Ukipanda doma una take four months ndivyo unini uuze. Unapalililia una mala mbili ndivyo uvune mavuno yako ya ndoma. Harvesting is done when most leaves turn yellow in color and have shrunken like any other root crops. It is harvested by passing a plow close to the furrow, exposing the tuberous roots, then cut off the stem. Harvesting with the use of a fork may also be done or by pulling up the whole plant in case of sandy loam soil. However, the latter method is only applicable to small-scale farmers. Paris uses a panga. She carefully digs through the soil close enough to uproot her tuber and careful enough not to cause injury to the tuber as this lessens its value in the market. Wakati wa kuvuna ukitoa ndoma unakuza unaondoa mizizi yake unaachwa na ndoma then unakata. Then unarudisha hiyo nini kwa mtanga unakuwa tena. Okay sasa ukitoa ndoma unatoa hii mizizi. Sasa hii wakati nilipanda sasa hii ndio iko na command. Unatoa hii mizizi. Unatoa vizuri. Then unaikata. Sasa hii ndio iko na foreman. Hiyo iko ready. Then una kata hii hivi unarudisha unarudisha hii kwa shimo kwa shimo kwenye umetoa hiyo an arrowroot crop has many uses the crop leaves have been found to be nutritionally rich in energy fiber vitamins amino acids minerals iron phosphorus and zinc are a very good source of vitamin b6 vitamin c potassium copper and manganese while making traditional foods such as mokimo, the leaves have been used to give the food that deep green color. The roots can be eaten in different forms, which include boiling, deep frying, among others. In this era of high demand value added products, the tuber is now being used to make healthy snacks such as crisps. <laughs> Toa hizi manini zake unapata sukuma ya kudini mokimo. Ukitaka kujua utamu wa doma, unaeka kama siku tatu hivi dio inakuwaga dry. Lafu ukikula, ukiku, ukikula unaisikia kama ikona, ikona uga uga hivi. Juhi itakua imema, imemwaga hiyo majiote. Cases of insecurity are on the rise in the country, a major contributor being lack of employment. As others aim at stealing from the banks and shops, others burn the midnight oil waiting for lamps to go off, hence creeping into people's farms and stealing away the hard labor in card in cultivation. Wezi wanakuwa wengi sana wandoma na wakati mingine wanaibanga usiku. Sasa, napenda tu selekali na ize ingilia, hatu tukipeleka doma kwa soko. Kue na tuseme kwa mfano kama mpagilio, kama wa farmers watu wanakuwa wanajua kama wanajua kama mtu ana, anakuanga anafanya kazi ya kununua doma ana, 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 ama anafanya nini ama analima kwa sababu wezi wanaiba na wana, wanaenda huko wanaenda kufanya nini wanaenda wakauza huko challenge nyingine ya doma ni porcupines porcupines wakati, wakati mwingine wenye kunakuwa na wenye kunakuwa kunakuwa na jua wanakuja wanachiba tu kama mtu anakula hizo doma hizo ndizo challenges za doma lakini venye mimi kama mkulima wa doma zenye naonea, na, naona mzuri 
doma ni vizuri kulima kwa sababu ziko na faita mingi kuliko challenges na hata ukizoea kulima doma huwezi ukapata hata haja juu hata ukiwa uende uka uwezi ukaenda kuuza hata unaweza zitumia kwa kwako sasa nataka kuimiza watu wengi tugane pamoja tujine doma kwa sababu hata doma watu wengi wanazipenda na wanasivanya wa, wanazipenda na wanapenda sana kukula doma In production season, a farm's produce tends to be more in the market. Oversupplying in the market leads to low price in the market or lack of market at all. Many farmers go through this challenge during production season. Wakati wa wamvua ndo mali mingi. So unapata hakuna hata mahali unaweza enda kuuza nduma. Kwa sababu kila shamba iko na maji ya kutosha so nduma ni mingi. Sasa zina fraud. Unakosa mahali pa kwenda kuuza. Wateja wangu ni tuseme kwa mfano my neighbors wenye hawana nini wenye hawana shamba ya doma pia na uzia wa mama wengine wenye wanapeleka soko kwa Kiambu ama napeleka kuna hata kuna wakati mwingine napeleka Garungai na jipelekea kwa soko mimi mwenyewe. An investment of 10,000 shillings is good enough capital to get started. This has a potential of giving back four times more after the production season as Paris tells us. Unaweza kuwa na angiri kumi mahali na uwe unataka ku start kulima ndoma ukiwa na shaba. Ukitumia 10,000 then after 4 months utapata 40,000 after 4 months. Zimekuwa na demadi ya juu sana kwa sababu doma hazikuangi na hazikuangi na magojwa mingi. Sasa hiyo hiyo sasa ndio sababu inafanya wakulima wa ndoma hawatumii kama pesticides ama mandawa mingi. Ujue sasa ukikula doma unakula kitu lilo ama unakula kitu yenye haiko na haiko na makemikozi mingi. Na pia inasaidia mwili kwa sababu inakuwa na carbohydrates yake inakuwa inakuwa tofauti na inakuwa nzuri. Ndio unaona sasa bei ya doma inakuanga inakuanga bei na alafu si watu wengi weko wenye wako na wa wenye wako na shaba ya doma. Sasa nafikiria hiyo ina, video inasababisha doma izikuwe na nini? Izikuwe na demand sana. Na pia kuna watu wengine wanazipenda sana. Kwa hii kazi ya kuuza nduma, iliona ni nzuri. Juu sasa nimejiajiri. Na sasa hata kama ni time najua nitaenda saa ngapi. Ama sasa wengine niko na makastoma wengine wapelekea. Sasa ni kuchingua na kupeleka. Hata sasa singine sikaangi kwa barabara sana. Juu sasa niko na wateja wengi kwa nikaonelea ni mzuri kuliko ya kwenda kuandikwa huko kwa kahawa Our root farming is not that strenuous. It is easy to grow requiring mostly enough moisture in the soil. The crop is not vulnerable to pests and diseases. It is resilient and hardy requiring little agronomist practice. Perry says that it is the easiest farming practice to engage in therefore encouraging more farmers to exploit the yet untapped market. Kazi ya ndoma haina stress ukipanda ukiweka dhumu ni ku haina kazi mingi juu ni kugojea tu utagojea mavuno to get in touch with paris is how you can contact her ukitaka ndoma unaweza nipigia simu 0723 540 That is all from Zizi today stay tuned on KTN Farmers TV